nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good time for a recap. We started with, as usual, our napkin diagram and said that we wanted to, let's see if we can get our commentary. going and yeah, we just leave it the way it is. We need some other color here to we said we wanted to complete the drum and we did. And we wanted to begin our arrangement and we did. And we wanted to begin by putting it all together and we did. And then eventually we're gonna and and in doing so we looked at began the ability to look at what we call the mega structure, all of it put together. So we did that. In re-entering into the drum, we had some realizations that an extended idea of what circle line drum design looking at what's all at once and what's sequential, is that the, the, the technique called a flam, which is drum, drum, which is like a grace note, brum, brum. It's close enough to be, we said, counted as an all at once. And so we went back to our drum parts and looked at where we were using flams. And then we even put in, for want of a better word, double flams which may not be the correct word, but it was close enough. And we even, um, and, and, and our thought experiment was that if you, if you flick the to tooth, the teeth of a comb, click, 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 there's no pitch perceived. But if you run your finger down the comb, brrr, brrr, you begin to hear a pitch. And so, this is kind of a place where percussion and pitch come cross boundaries. So we ended up adding some more flams and even a double flam. Then the other thing that we looked at conceptually, well, as, as input to our musical ideas, we, we recommended these two videos. This one by Voices of Music. Get him apprenticed to an artist called Verrocchio, who taught him the rest of what he knew. Though when he saw his pupil's endeavor, he put his own brush down and never painted again. Okay, so there's a poet with a lyric. Remind, remember the Greeks, lyric means something that you can sing to, and then this, so this was a, an example of a lyric coming in, and then it's also an example of an astonishing drum part. <laughs> hardly hear it. You have to listen for it. Here you have t a soprano and a contralto trilling and singing. You got two recorders and you got a, well she's quiet but she's the viola da gamba. Listen to this guy, this teeny little drum, you can hear it. What sounds assail or charm his ear? What harmony or jumble? Here. So, and they heard that plum, bum, bum, bum in the background. The second thing we listened to as inspiration between our streams was how drum and voice and violin dance. So I recommend 
Well, I recommend this singer, Sangeeta Sivakumar, especially, and then I don't know the name of that artist, and it's on this channel, First Edition Arts. So that's kind of cool. So, we, and, and then we reference this to um, Communication Beyond Words. And again, we said, this is where does ideas for music come from? Past and memory, personal associations, cultural associations, such as Renaissance music, which we just heard, Hindustani music, which we just heard. But always and always and always, we are all composers and performers musically and in every other way. So in the present, listening, composing, and of course, speaking, which is why you're watching. So that all culminated in us taking um, the original drum model that we've been working on for the last couple streams, the original uh, harmonization model with passing chords and everything, and we put it together into a grand new uh, structure called the uh, the arrangement model. Oh, we better leave it over here where you can see it. And we used our mixer. As part of arranging, you have to, some things need to be soft or muted. And here we see we had the melody down here, the melodic rhythm which we spent the last couple streams on, the passing chords, the bass chord, arpeggios, the snare, the bass, the backbone, and the bass chord cadences. We've muted the backbone, we've muted the bass chord cadences, and we've muted the original melody and given pride of position to the melodic rhythm. It's the lyric. Instead of da 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 the rhythm is da 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 but we're giving pride of accompaniment to the passing chords and the bass chord arpeggios and giving pride of percussion accompaniment to the snare which has a slightly louder and the bass a slightly softer dynamic. You can see that here. The melody is muted and hands off to the melodic rhythm, which is mezzo, medium, forte. The passing chords are piano. The bass chord arpeggios are piano. This is all part of arranging. The concerts, the snare drum is piano, and the bass, which is so strong, is pianissimo, triple, triple piano. And the original backbone is mute, and the original bass chords are mute. They're still present. They're like the blue lines in architectural drawing. And once we've completed arranging things, then the blue line layer is pulled away so that the, uh, the, the final structure stands out. So that all said, here is our, the three variations arranged.
complete for now. Ideas where to go next. Uh, we wrote a couple down. There's a little uh, softening and loudening we could do on the melody. Um, what am I trying to look at here? This one. We, we've talked about, uh, so that would be uh, more on the dynamics. So we did do an overall dynamics in the arrangement, but this could be, a, you know, by line, so to speak. Another idea we wrote down is uh, a video. We feel like that could, that could really work to do a video accompaniment and for those that watch the stream accompaniment on uh, making a video highlight uh, we talked a lot about this the the star and the accompanist well in a musical performance you know the person singing on stage is usually a star and the piano and drum in the background are the accompaniment but in a video where you have a visual presentation as well as an audio uh, who's the star well obviously we will want the audio to star <laughs> and so the question is how could we make the video equal the accompaniment in other words instead of distracting from the music it enhances it in some way and we've done some experiments with that so that's an idea uh, another idea is uh, uh, the orchestration we could try some instruments flutes and stuff um, And then another idea is to put some lyrics to this. Anybody have some lyrics they want to write? Um, so of all of those three at the moment, I think this one to me is the most interesting to work with. And I predict that whatever we pick, um, We'll end up possibly coming back and, and doing a, a few things like adjusting, you know, dynamics by line. Tim oh, so another thing we could do is an energy analysis. And we did that in one of our streams early on for this piece. Remember, if it's harmonically complex, analysis, analysis. And that one, I think, is a priority also. We'd like to do that. So uh, tune in next time. And as always, keep on streaming.